Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Folks, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the Sunday edition, the Margu campaign. Uh, these guys are on their last leg as they're down several members. <laughs> they probably died today. I'm just kidding. They're definitely going to die today. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube account. If you want to buy cool stuff, uh, links down there. If you want to join us in Discord, links down there. Most importantly, if you want to see it on the One Shot or on the talk show on Tuesday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We'll get you on there. Uh, give you an hour, two hours worth of fun. Ridiculous fun. Absolutely destructive fun. Uh, shout out to Pirate Dog Dice for old Big Red who kills PCs left and right. And of course, oddfishgames.com. Uh, if your game stinks, it'll make it smell better. Also, uh, their RPG with a cat session is next Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, free, absolutely free. You do have to sign up, https colon slash slash oddfishgames.ticketleap.com. We'll put that out on our Twitter feed later. Uh, it's a good time. It's about an hour or so, and uh, you guys will learn how to RPG with your cat. Uh, before we get into the recap of this bizarre uh situation let's introduce you to the people who are going to make it fun or deadly depending on how you look at it uh our elder statesman frank who are you who do you play i'm frank senior i play leaf the last sane druid <laughs> wow there's got to be a copyright infringement there so. uh -huh. Uh, next up is Jason. Jason, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I play Copious Volt Bitters, the third a gnomish witch, uh, heavily bedazzled at the moment with his ill gotten gains, <clears throat> a very convincing uh, uh, argument uh, debater, and currently feeling a little twitchy everywhere in the city and ready to take off. Coward. <laughs> uh, last but certainly not least, AJ. I am AJ, and I'm playing Felix, the OG of Last Sane Party members. I'm ready for some fun. I think you're a bit of a gambling man with that kind of an attitude. Yes, I am. <laughs> Folks, if you missed last week's, uh, I'll, I will call it debacle, uh, these guys are trying to determine how much longer they can stay within the Nizumi ruins tucked away in the tabaxi jungle as they explore the tortle ruins Whew, you got that one right uh they are aware that a black worm black dragon black large creature that maybe spits acid uh is present and they have taken a diamond encrusted stone knocked it free from the temple after garnering a few of the larger gems uh, and sent it scurrying through the ruins. Since then, the worm has recaptured it and perched it precariously up on top of the temple from whence it came. Uh, the party opted to go ahead and uh, ignore a repeat of that debacle and went over to investigate the temple. Uh, but first, they stopped by the tailor shop, uh, met two swarms of poisonous snakes, which peppered the shit out of copious v bitters uh fortunately felix in a moment of bravery was able to run away run away uh and he was able to witness uh, a strafing attack by the dragon but with his quick thinking and the mithril tube he cranked one off the stone and collapsed the temple upon himself but it was enough to veer the worm to one side so that does garner him the title of hero uh or dumbass or dumbass uh they they then regrouped uh discovered that haga's crapstain and robert of zeppelin had achieved a hunt of a lifetime with a small boar allowing them to stay at least a day or two in the Nizumi ruins uh these three and uh, man fang wandered off to check an area that they had not discovered and found that the stone chock full of gems was removed just before a pachyderm crashed through the jungle and uh, viciously attacked uh, after braving the huge creature, they managed to discover that this was actually a pack animal for potentially a cattel of drug dealers of the very potent Maui Wowie. 
Uh, we rejoin these guys as they have sent Man Fang back to the other two to let them know what's going on. You three are outside. You do know that there are tabaxi headed this way, and it appears as though the pachyderm was their packed animal and had escaped. Gentlemen, welcome to the mess. What do you want to do? Uh, you said, can we actually see tabaxi or signs of them moving this way at this point? You moved down the trail from the uh, trek that the pachyderm had taken and saw movement in the jungle headed that way. So you have assumed that so, A, they are tabaxi, and B, they are headed this way. Oh. And it's uh, Leaf Felix, the Felix the tank, right? Felix yeah. the current oh. tank. Or the current tank. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the wind-up tank variety. <laughs> I think it, maybe it's time to go get our shit and head out the other gate. At the very the least, we should go get our shit and hide it somewhere so that no tabaxi find it if they do find us. Yeah, I, yeah, I like that's that. Right, better idea. Let's, yeah. let's let's uh, get back <laughs> and have uh, Haggis and Robert and the the gnomish twins. Um, move all of our gear to a, something other than the tavern. Maybe they should bury it. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> something other than uh, Noodle to remember where they bury it. because I don't Noodle think the diplomat? <laughs> noodle yeah. the diplomat. The noodle, noodle, noodle the scholar. Yeah, at the very least, get him to draw us a map. I think we better see where it's buried. I don't trust these clowns. That's a good point. Yes, I agree. I think Robert's fairly trustworthy. Have you been in the same sessions we've been in? Yes, <laughs> and I, I enjoy polluting the waters of reasonable thinking. <laughs> I think it'd be more fun to hide it and have Robert stand guard somewhere where he can't see where we're putting it. I believe Felix knows a large pile of feces that it could be easily buried in. Yes, yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah, all we got to do is go back into Dragon's Lair. Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. You put it back in there. I guess the, the, the first thing is to hoof it back and have that discussion with the, the gnomes. Yeah. I, because we all saw goods inside that trunk of uh, Latrex, and then when he opened it, there were no goods inside that trunk. Right. So right. How did, he, how did he hide those? I still think it has something to do with that satchel of his. So let's have that conversation about how we can hide it. Say, Tabaxi, are on their way here. We need to move these goods off so they don't find them. Uh, and the Tabaxi aren't supposed to be in here anyways because nobody's supposed to be in the ruins. But if they find us camped on this tavern, we're going to be busted. So I think we need to get out of the tavern, go find another location to be at, even outside the walls. But uh, well, I think the, move on. the Tabaxi that are coming are not worried about laws. I, I would concur. Yeah. They are, of course, coming from this direction. You guys are right here in the base. This area is about the only area you have not explored, except for yeah. these two yeah. buildings. Uh, did We explored the shrine, didn't we? <clears throat> yes, yeah. this one. Yes, that, that's good. Uh, Felix uh, found it to be cramped. But yeah. What if we moved all the gears into the uh, the uh, serpent temple? Because whoever's coming would think that was still occupied. Obviously, nobody's gone in there to kill things out. They wouldn't know that we'd wiped out the nest, right? True. Go in there. It's dark unless they light something. The bones everywhere. We bury all the goods that we've collected. Well, they're basically cats. I'm pretty sure they can see in the dark. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. Hide it in there. Yeah. Or, or what's the library where you had the, the snail and the, the other thing? Right near the entrance? Mm. Maybe they'll walk right past it, not thinking about it. I think I think that I, like that. I think the, the, the more important gear, the big diamonds and such, we can carry those with us. In the prison wallet? In a prison wallet. I'm a three yeah. foot tall gnome. You, you're not going to get any of that stuff up that prison wallet. Well, you know what? If you want to bend over, Felix, I'll see if I can jam it in there. 
Well, I think Felix is starting to take a liking to all that stuff going in there. He might have to get with Griselda and let her know, <laughs> let her know about his new kink. That being said, I need Felix to roll me a con save, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, According to my calendar, uh, five. Oh yeah, you begin to sweat profusely. Uh, Ah, man, is it hot today? Uh, it is hot here in the Nazumi Ruins jungle, but uh, it ain't that damn hot. Leaf and Felix or Copius, you notice that uh, Felix is perspiring heavily. Uh, Felix, what's uh, going on there? Do you need something to drink? I have some beer here. Beer, beer cure, cures everything. Yeah, give me a swig of the beer. It's just really hot yeah. out here today, man. You know, it's the jungle. Yeah, poor. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just pass him over to Flask. Here you go. Let's head back to the bar. We'll get just suited right up. Felix, give me oh, an well, insight yeah. check at disadvantage. A one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aren't you pretty sure Copius was trying to kill you guys not too long ago? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't think so. Let's go get some beers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You guys yeah. all hear some crunching through the jungle. Uh, it is clear that whoever is coming is going to not be able to miss the five pound mass or five foot mass of uh, carved up elephant flesh. Uh, so you might want to make it expediently. All right, let's haul, haul, haul ass back to the tavern, guys. Can we make it to the tavern? Do we think we can make it to the tavern before they would round the gate? Insight normally, please. Oh, natural 19. For uh, uh, 23. Yeah you, yeah, you guys got it. You guys got it. All right. Okay. Assuming okay. Felix can keep up. He's feeling really lethargic. I uh, get on either side of him and drag his ass. <laughs> sure, whatever it takes. That, that'll help with Copius being so short. Uh, you yeah. guys. Well, he can grab whatever he can reach, you know? You guys hump across the uh, plaza. You notice that the <laughs> carrion birds uh, that have been so prevalent in this area have moved off more towards the library area as they smell the uh, cooking elephant flesh. Uh, you are able to zip through. No signs of the giant worm. Uh, no signs of giant vultures. You head into the tavern to find Copious, Man Fang, Haggis Crapstain, Phineas Latrec, and Pierre Glambone, uh, all with greasy boar flesh uh, droppings. Uh, and they announce, this is delicious. All right, well, give them the short version. Tabaxi on the way, but we need to get this gear hidden and moved out of here because they're gonna come right to this tavern. You can smell the food, they'll track it right back here. Air points out, I'm going to need to borrow one of your zonkeys for my box. What are you offering, Pierre? Nothing's free. I am offering my eternal friendship to you. That's worth so far nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask no, Pierre. It's worth every, every supply we've had so far. Plow through it. Pierre, do you know somewhere inside the grounds you think we can hide from these tabaxi? Or have you seen tabaxi in the ground since you've been here? He's been here for a week, right? Or more than uh, that. About three weeks. Three actually. weeks. Has he seen uh, you come through before? Uh, you know what? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, those guys. <laughs> How did he avoid those guys last time? Actually, you know, those guys go over to the western section of town uh they have not been a bother uh they will however shake out the were rats um and cause a ruckus uh but yeah they they've never bothered me mm -hmm. i understand they're uh they're great people you understand this did you have you ever talked to them i've eavesdropped on them while i was remaining hidden while uh rescuing some ale from its perch they are called the Great Tribe. Oh. The Western Building said just for a moment. That's the ones we haven't explored yet. Yeah. Correct. Behind okay. the temple. Yeah. Yeah. Behind uh, the temple, over by the water feature. 
That's probably a good time. You know, it's time to leave, guys. Yeah, I still think that. Uh, how long are they normally here, Pierre? Do they, do, they come and go? do they spend the night? Are they here for a couple of days? Uh, they only spend a couple hours here, but since it's going to be dark soon, I would imagine they'll uh, probably remain the night. I still think that we need to secure our treasure somewhere until they are gone. Well, uh, unless we're going to hit the road. What do you guys think? Leave. Phineas is all for le leaving. Keep to your bargain, gentlemen. Yeah, I got a bargain for <laughs> it. I, I told you, I was ready to pack the animals and head out already. Yeah, I think maybe that's the best thing to do at this we, point. We tried to get the jewel off the top of the, the tower. We're <laughs> and well, we got, did. Yeah, you got two. We got two. There's more up there, but I'm feeling distinctly underpowered. And we have a lot of ill-gotten antiquities to move. We got all these, all this tor turtle gold. Oh, Lots of, of turtle gold that needs moved. Yeah, yeah. just, just turtle gold. And I don't think they're going to be too happy about somebody killing their elephant. Who killed their elephant? I assume the dragon killed the elephant. I think it, it must have been a dragon. I don't know what to tell you. What's an elephant? Armed with a sword. <laughs> and I think a few crossbow bolts in it or mm -hmm. arrows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I don't have a bow. <laughs> if only I could remember who had a bow. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's tell Latrek to pack his uh, his crate on top of uh, clam bone. The, you mean? Uh, yeah, clam bone. Put it on top of the lizard thing. He put it on the gila gila monster. Yeah, yeah. the gila monster. Yeah, that will get all him and uh, and what's his name, Phineas Latrek, and it will handle Phineas, Pierre, and the box. Absolutely, unknown. Yep. There we go. We'll get everything else packed well, up and well, start getting ready to head out the gate. Do we want to try to go out in the daylight? Or do we want to wait till it starts to get dark and then take off? I, but if we wait till it gets dark, they're going to be in here. Uh, aren't they going to be in here by the time we get out the, the back door and head out to the gate? There's only one way out of this ruins, right? Two. There's two. There's a gate right by us. Can we go out the back and get to that gate without? Yeah, go head out the alley. And yeah. cut around. Yep. All right. Then let's do it. And we'll just hold hold at each corner and make sure nobody's coming before we yep. cross. Go out the back way. Uh, give me perception checks, please. <clears throat> uh, 24. 14. Uh, Leaf, for some reason, those two gnomes just chuck that big old trunk up on that Gila monster like it's nothing i'm gonna uh in an aside to the well at least the other two that are here i'm gonna mention to them you notice how light that box seemed to be when they throw it up on that monster i'm going to point out that's just inherent gnomish strength <laughs> and i'm gonna point out you're so full of shit you stink yeah that that's seems just, a you don't understand the constitution of a gnome that's that's a real gnome can sling a, a trunk like that. Realizing that Copius is apparently out of his mind, I'm going to look at Felix and say, did you happen to notice that? It looked a It's really hot out. <laughs> <laughs> Lord help me. I, I, I'm going to, I present. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep an eye on there's something about that box. I'm going to get an answer to it. Fair enough. Felix looks like uh, airplane, you know, right there yeah. at the end where the water is just Corn. drizzling down his head. Felix, yeah. are you uh, okay? Yeah, there's just two of you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think we need to go because we need medical help at this point. Well, I think I'm thinking that uh, I'll probably go ahead and, and cast a wait a minute. I'll find it. I can't remember this crap from one week to the next. Yeah. Inspiration on. Lesser rest restoration. 
Uh, what does that cure? It removes one condition. Okay. Not the gambling. Not the gambling. <laughs> you now cannot read. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I don't. I don't know about disease. It says uh, blinded, deaf, and paralyzed, or poisoned. Well, he's none of those. Uh, but okay. you know what, Felix? You do. Uh, you're fine. The 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 pain in the the left arm, it, it's gone away. I'll be okay. It's going to be fine. I'm going to oh, be okay. okay. <laughs> uh, everybody is packed up, ready to go. All right, let's let's head out the back door then. I'm grabbing. Did uh, Robert happen to grab whatever roast hadn't been eaten? No, Manfang did. All uh, right, he's cradling it in his arms like it is a baby. Oh or yeah, like Felix's would hold his load. Oh yeah. Breath. Well, uh, that's good. So we know right. who they'll follow if, if the push comes. So if to we've go. got all of our gear and we're saddled up, let's head out the back door. Awesome. Who wants to roll D12 against me? Jesus. Jason, go ahead. Sure. Go for it, Jason. 12. 11. Good choice. Good news. There is nobody in the back alley. There is no oh. shadows. Everything is, everything is fine. <laughs> Who is leading this circus wagon? Well, I, I, I suppose I will. Okay. See, I'm the only sane druid in the bunch. That's true. Uh, Felix, your, uh, your spell has passed for the time being you're feeling good you know uh, that boar meat uh, whew, whew. And, but you've got this gigantic sweat ring <laughs> that goes oh, almost Lord. down to your belly button uh as you guys peel off uh i assume you're going to be doing this stealthily leaf as stealthily as you can with a herd of freaking <laughs> zonkies zonkies yeah well, give me your stealth roll my stealth sucks Clang, bang, wham. Uh, it's like a Batman uh, show. 11. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, you guys head off. Uh, give me a perception check there, leader of the pack. 23. Very nice. Uh, somebody in this jungle is actually louder than you, I guess. <laughs> uh <laughs> As you reach this point here in the alley, you see movement coming up the main drag from this direction. With a 23, you notice these look like turtles. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Holy shit. <clears throat> turtles. I'm going to tell everybody, hold it. There's something coming up out of the jungle. It, I swear it looks like turtles, walking turtles. Man Fang with a mouth full of boar flesh yells out, what? Because <laughs> he's near the back. <laughs> because that is exactly what he would do. <laughs> yeah, he was. Oh, my God. All right. I, I'm back to now, the a seven point. on the Fine. intelligence check. <laughs> uh, minus three. That's right. So four. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> We could head back to the cross alley and get out of sight, try to, and keep a watch. Why don't we do that? Yes. Back to this cross, the cross point. Uh, right, right, by the base. right about, yeah, right about there. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who wants to roll stealth for the oh, group? I, I, Jeez, I, I think either me. Felix or the gnome should. Yeah, not me. That's for damn sure. Go for it, Felix. Yeah, let's give it a try. Uh, 17. Uh, 17. Uh, Felix manages, uh, with his expressive bulk, managed to block any noises of scuffling of hooves, uh, clanging of the snare drum that you were carrying out <laughs> in your glam bones. It's the symbols that uh, did it. <laughs> yeah, and you notice... I, I will say a, a herd because I'm not sure, maybe a pod of turtles. I'm not sure what a group of turtles would be. Uh, they are walking straight through town, big and bold as Belfast. I mean, they have not a care in the world. Uh, you can see several of them hold banners uh, that appear to be indicative of the turtle regime. And uh, give me an insight check, Felix. A group, of a group of turtles known as a bale. 
Bale there you go. I was just about to look it up. A bale of turtles. What's your insight? Uh, you're pretty sure these conquistadors are about ready to uh, stir up the shit and take back their homeland. How many are there? You said a, a bale of them, but what are we thinking here? Looks like 14. Uh, uh, Some of them are warriors, others are porters. <laughs> Well, I kind of want to get the popcorn out and watch this go down. Well, we definitely should stay undercover until they move well into the city and out of our range. Yeah. Uh, that. From the amount of noise that they're making, they don't give a rat's ass and who knows they're there. The clip-clop of their small cloven or clawed webs feet uh, tinker across the main plaza and you hear an exclamation in tortle does anybody no. speak tortle uh jesus Christe, what did they do to our statue is pretty much the general gist of this as the statue of uh, nizumi the tortle which was accidentally knocked over by felix the last sane party member uh, using his mithril tube has caused great consternation. Uh, a shout <laughs> rises. And it doesn't sound like tortle. Oh. <clears throat> Can we identify which way that shout was coming from? Uh, that would be over in this direction. Ooh, must sound like a pussycat. Mm. Possibly, possibly to in nature. Uh, you hear orders being barked and the sound of fling, fling, missile weapons going off. Uh, you also hear the familiar tinkle of the glass uh, that used to be your main headquarters. It sounds like it's been overrun, possibly by turtles who are taking up defensive positions. They have not yet discovered the zonky poop. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the question is, would they realize what the hell it was anyways? Probably not. They would just understand it was large scat. Mm. However, from your current position, as you can tell, you are quite close to the back door, which is, since nobody said it, and you left man it's thing open. at the back. It's open. It's open. Yeah, I think we need to move. Yeah, I agree. All right, back down the other side of the alley. Towards the Serpentine Temple? Uh, or or this towards the exit? No, no, the other way. Yeah, that way. That way. Yeah, no. So okay. we have to cross the alley uh, again. Who's watching to see if anybody can see us? Can we go? Felix was the one block. I'm yeah, can we go up instead to like the, I guess it's the top right there? Yeah, back there. Yeah, that leaves us that. exposed for an inordinate amount of time. Yes, it does. And we better off just cross the damn alley. <laughs> the sound of missile weapons is exchanged now. It seems that both parties are shooting at each other. Yeehaw! Pew, 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 pew! I'm not feeling the toys are out here. Uh, yeah. Let's move, Felix. You're in All trouble. Right. I'm going to peer around the corner and see if anyone's looking towards us. Uh, from this, you're talking this one? Oh, wait, are we already down there? No, are you crossing the alley uh, and you're going to look this uh, way? Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look down towards the center there and make sure nobody's looking. And then if no, if I don't see anyone looking at me, I'm going to sneak across that alley. You see a turtle with several arrows in his body slumped over the statue that had fallen over, as well as one tabaxi trying to hide behind the pedestal unsuccessfully. It appears as though he or she has been shot in the eye. I'm going to go. Uh, give right. me a stealth check. 19. Easily. Uh, you lead the troops successfully over because you are a hero. Uh, you guys make it to this <laughs> yeah. next heart. Uh, what do you want to do? Well, we make the loop around to the left and get behind the building instead of trying to make a run straight out the door, get behind the building and then work our way over to the gate. Left and north? Yeah, either left, north, or, or to the right and south, either one. 
That would be the uh, fastest left to north, right? I think so. So do you want to go star or heart? Heart? Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like heart. And that, heart. that building we're moving around behind is a burnout husk, right? Correct. Because it, it Can we actually caught get fire. It caught fire prior to you guys making a mess of it. Okay. This this one, remember, is the restaurant right. where Felix the Brave <laughs> nearly succumbed yeah, yeah. to the magic carp. So you guys shoot around to the back, <sighs> breathing heavily for an entirely reasonable reason this time, Felix. Uh, but as you do your loop, uh, you notice you're spotted by some tabaxi. Where are the tabaxi at on the map? The tabaxi are over here. Oh, crud. And the others, the tortles, are in your domain. Uh, so they will have a straight line of sight down this way. Uh, but they are currently engaged with the tortle. How many tabaxi did we see? You've only seen three plus the one shot in the eye hiding behind the pedestal. Hey, Felix, how good are you with your bow? Oh, oh, I'm the best shot in the party. <laughs> I think you should use the curved arrow and shoot turtle. <laughs> you think you can help put down those tabaxi before we take a run for it? Yeah, let's give it a try. How far away are they? <laughs> What's the uh, distance? They are 90 feet. Uh, yeah, my range is 150. Easy, easy peasy. What could go wrong? Uh, well, let's give it a try. Uh, you want to shoot uh, Cyclops or one of the others that spotted you? Cyclops doesn't know you're there. Uh, one of the others then. Fair enough. Somebody that's seen us. Sure. Oh, natural 20. Oh, nicely done. <laughs> oh, baby. So damage, damage modifier? Or Correct. All right. Oh, what is the damage from the 2d8? Five plus two plus three, ten. Uh, Felix draws back his bow, notices that the tabaxi has spotted him, begins to extend its paw just as the arrow finds its mark in its throat. The cat doubles over. <coughs> and Airball. Then Airball. Airball. Oh. Uh, as it starts to rise up and begin to point again, a crossbow bolt nails it in its forehead, presumably tortal in origin. Uh, that creature knew you were there, but nobody cares anymore. Uh, give me a stealth. Roll to see if anybody else spotted you, Felix. Big number, big number. Not natural 20. Uh, that was the only one that apparently knew where you were at. You think uh, that you can escape. Yeah. What's the call, Felix? Let's go. Right. Uh, everybody give me D20 rolls, just straight up D20s. Let's make sure you don't botch the escape. 13. 13. Good. Uh, let's go with Manfang. 19. Uh, we'll go with Robert of Zeppelin. 15. Uh, and of course, your two gnomes. 14. Uh, everybody zips out the eastern gate into the jungle, freshly trodden by uh, Tortle. You have escaped the Nizumi ruins. The sounds of battle continue to rage behind you. Now, here's my thought. Now that we're in the, in the jungle, these Tortles didn't come over land from that city because they're not going right. to be in that city. They've got a boat. My thought exactly. Can we follow the path that turtles came? Easily. They made no attempts to hide their 
intrusion upon the tabaxi lands. We're going to go back the way that they came then. Fair enough. Uh, as darkness falls, ooh, you, you, may, you may want to think about making camp. <laughs> uh, Pierre and Phineas are bitching loudly. Uh, Phineas especially pointing out, uh, this ain't the way I brought you guys. I'm not sure how to help you. You can drop dead. <laughs> after all we've been through. Oh, yeah. All the uh, yep. All right, let's make camp. We'll do the same procedure we did last time. Cut some bamboo. and Should, should we have a fire tonight? Absolutely. How far outside of the ruins are we? How long have we been hiking? You guys have been going about an hour and a half, two hours. Okay. Quite a yeah, ways out of the ruins. Yeah, I can't see them chasing us. They don't know okay. we were there. Because you guys are mounted. So yep. your mounts are going to move through. This trail is, you know, it, it's not a great trail, but it's good enough for your mounts. Yeah. Yeah. I think we could have a small fire. I yep, want I Robert to build one of those uh, platforms. Sure. Just bamboo. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, Phineas, or I'm sorry, Pierre Glambone would like to point out that <clears throat> I would like for my trunk to rest above ground so that moisture does not leak in through the bottom. Well, it's nice. See if that lizard will let you leave it off. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I feel that the animal being used as a uh, pack animal uh, may reach physical exertion if I leave it on there, and I don't think that would help any of us. I don't think he will. That trunk is very light. We saw you guys put it up there. No, no it's, have you never heard of gnomish strength? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah they look, sure they look at copious and are, are your associates yeah. Oh, yeah. unaware of that's, the, that's, the... That's like our army intelligence, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> Force of will uh, allowed us to uh, heave that heavy object over. Bit of an oxymoron. Uh, yeah, here, let me get it down for you. No, no I, I, I got it. I got no, it. No, no, I'm going to go ahead and climb up on the lizard if it'll let me and, and toss it down. Felix, catch. Yeah, sure. It's light. I'll catch it. As you undo the ropes, Leaf, you do one of these and it's like, <clears throat> heavy? <clears throat> yes, it seems. Seems usually, to be real heavy. I'm just going to give it a kick off the side. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to catch it. <laughs> I see that. Felix. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Lee, Leaf, roll a d20. If you roll a one or a two, Felix will. Oh. <laughs> Let me get that bad dice out. <laughs> like to roll a d1, please. <laughs> uh, Copious is like, I told you, no more story. God damn it. 15. Uh, it lands. Uh, does it land face up? It lands with the base on the bottom, so it lands correctly. Uh, this is entirely unacceptable. Uh, do I knock over your shit? Do I treat your belongings poorly? No, I do not. I, I'm going to demand an apology. <laughs> Felix, he wants an apology from me. <laughs> from me? Yeah, you let his box drop on the ground. Yeah, you didn't catch no, it. No, you didn't hand it to me. You kicked it off. <laughs> I, you I, I believe you said you were going to catch it. I clearly heard you say you were going to catch it. I wanted you to hand it to me. Uh, <laughs> Pierre readjusts his belt. All right, fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'm sorry, Pierre. There was a little miscommunication. My associate was going to hand me the box. Instead, he kicked it off. We'll try not to let this happen again. Hey, let's check and make sure that nothing was damaged inside there. Go yes, let's it. open up your box, but box. Make sure nothing's damaged. Anything that's damaged, we will... Copious help him look. Yeah. I packed it appropriately. I realized that nothing's broken. I the really insist. we got to inspect this box for damage. It I, took I, quite a tumble. It did. My fault. I have full, this is gnomish construction. So it's fine. Real strong. Oh, it is gnomish. Very strong. <laughs> May there, I see there, there is a there bladder be. system in here that allows it to absorb damage. I got a bladder system. You want to see it work? I'm still up on the lizard. He, he does not. <laughs> I'll show you a poison spray. 
Robert, uh, Robert <laughs> announces that he has created the platform for everybody sans Pierre Glambone's box uh, to be elevated overnight. I'm going to take first watch if that's all right. <laughs> Man Mark- Fang agrees because he has consumed the entire boar and he is feeling bloated. You guys are going to need to find uh, some grub. Hey, there's some of those blue bananas. Uh, Phineas you- is all over that shit. Yeah, what are you doing? Phineas that. He he scampers up that tree like nobody's business, whacks down a huge bushel. And he goes, this is even more than I had last. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna end up with two gnomes doing that. Well, I I don't have a bow. I don't uh, I don't hunt like that. Felix, how good can Robert? Well, we know how good you are. <laughs> yeah, Robert. Robert. Robert was doing it. Send Haggis and. Latrec or yeah, out to see if they can scare something up. I'll get a fire yeah. started. Hagas, Robert, and Latrec. Yeah, see what things scare us up. I'll take uh, second watch. Phineas points out, "Don't you accidentally miss and hit me in the ass again?" <laughs> A little while later, they come back uh, with something. Uh, Maybe a giant rat? I mean, kind meets, of. Meets meat. Yeah, it's something. Something it, edible, they think. Turn into a person while we're roasting it. Well, it could be a were rat. <laughs> that ain't nothing but ro- highway chicken, man. It, it, it's got the, the big front teeth. It looks like a cross between a giant rat and a beaver. Ooh, Felix loves beaver. I love beaver. <sighs> Sweat buckets. Feeling in. that sweat coming back up. <laughs> oh, no. Every time I think about eating beaver, I'm going to start getting sweaty again. Way too much. <laughs> uh, so you, got a, you got one of them lesser restorations? No. Nope. It's like the Dave Chappelle meme. You got any of them uh, lesser restorations? <laughs> no. Oh, boy. That bad? It gets hot in the jungle. <laughs> And I think you got a curse. I think no. he's got something. Can't help you with that. You need, you need to find a witch. I think he already did. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, the, the meal is cooked over the low fire. Everybody roll constitution to see how you like it. Uh, I, I don't know. 14, 12. It's okay. Uh, Meets me. And Fang declines. Robert likes it. <laughs> Haggis uh, seems to be suffering from an intestinal parasite. Haggis vomits and does not feel well at all. Oh, good. He will not be on any hunting forays. Uh, who wanted the first watch? I did. Uh, give me a D8. Okay. Oh, there it is. Four. Uh, second watch was copious. Yep. D8. Five. Uh, Felix, are you taking it or you want Robert to? I'll take it. Okay. Five. Uh, the night passes uneventfully. However, in the middle of the night, uh, there is a lot of groaning and a lot of uh, pained uh, squirming from both Haggis and Felix, who wakes up exceptionally gaunt. <laughs> He's very pale. Uh, Damn. Turning into a wraith. <sighs> oh, good. It's a curse from the temple, Felix. I'm hot, yet my extremities are cold. Oh, boy. <sighs> Uh, I'm going to cast a restoration on him again, see if it helps again. I think blowing on my hands is helping. Everybody roll perception. Oh, boy. 15. 13. Dirty 20. Uh, Felix, uh, you're... 
just a wee bout, just a wee bout, no big deal. Uh, Copious, you definitely hear something coming, crashing through the jungle. Leaf, you're pretty sure you hear something crashing through the jungle from the same direction as the Nazumi ruins. I'm going to tell everyone, defensive positions. We're, yeah. not, we're standing on a giant platform, so it's not like we can hide. Uh, you give out the stern warning, turn to one side, and Phineas... And Pierre, get a little uh, protein in in the morning hours. Uh, they hold up an unopened banana in their other hand. Yeah. Uh, they form a defensive ring. Uh, and he taps Copius on the shoulder with a sticky finger from the blue Java banana and goes, You hope it's from the banana. <laughs> it is morning. Uh, <laughs> what about the mounts? I'm, I'm Man Fang, looking at my with a roll of a two, yells out, The mouths are going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> the noise stops. Okay. <laughs> Minus yeah. one on that intelligence roll. Oh, yeah. Well, so we have Felix who's diseased. The two gnomes who are feeling much better now. Oh, uh, it's just. I don't know what it is. It's just hot flashes. Maybe I'm menopausal. That's true. Manopausal. Manopausal. <laughs> I'm going to try to sneak out into the jungle towards the towards the uh, where the noise came from and stealth as stealthily as possible. And see crashing possible. through the jungle makes me think maybe it's what we heard crashing through the jungle yesterday. Ooh, another pachyderm. Mm -hmm. uh, give me your stealth roll. Yeah, twenty-three. Oh yeah, yeah. You're you, you move like the wind, uh, not the breaking wind that everybody on the platform will hear and smell soon. Uh, to even is your big roll. <laughs> A tabaxi is kind of crouched down, has an arrow in its shoulder. Uh, Copious, you see it doing this, but you're over here. It's trying to figure out where the noise came from. So it's trying to figure out the noise that was crashing through the jungle or the it's noise the of camp. Us? The camp noise. Okay. Man fang. Screaming out. The eh, mounts will be okay. All right. Vol volume issues. Um, can I get back to the camp without being seen or do I have to roll again? Got to roll again. Okay. Uh, all right. Yep. I got a plan. Yeah. 20. <clears throat> so With the wind. So when I get back to camp, I'm going you to you see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's me. Yeah. I'm going to tell them here what I saw, and I'm going to suggest we play it off and offer aid to the tabaxi, like like we're moving through the jungle, exploring the jungle, and okay. just see if we can communicate with the tabaxi without engaging. All right, well, just that's act, that's act like nothing's going on. Then. Act as nothing's tabaxi going on. Make, the course. Uh, just one tabaxi. Just one tabaxi is always well, riding on something, or nope, it was just running through the jungle. Make an awful lot of damn noise for only being one of them. It was it's injured. Got that arrow. It's injured, so it's stumbling through this. So I, I suggest we try to offer aid and see if we can convince it that there's no issue here, and offer right. to even take it back to the the city if necessary. But in order for us to do that, we need to make sure that there's no gear that was stolen from the city out where anybody could see it. How about those rings on your hand there? With these? What rings? I, I think he's gonna be able to persuade this tabaxi to do I got that. this. Just I can I can convince I can convince it tabaxi. No problem. You ain't Don't persuaded about anybody here, Bubba. He can sell a pot a ketchup popsicle to people wearing white gloves. Uh, totally. Oh. So are you gonna let him come in? No, I think we're gonna walk into the jungle. In perch. I think I'm going to see if I can get Manfang, the diplomat, to go with me, and we'll walk towards the jungle. To get the <laughs> All right. What could go wrong? That's uh, with an eleven on the roll, minus three, eight. Hey, oi, prick! <laughs> In the woods, come here. <laughs> we see you, cat. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I want to pet the kitty. <laughs> the taxi. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Don't shoot. I mean you no harm. Uh, a tabaxi 
comes out some uh, scuffed up leather uh, tunic, uh, and he's got an arrow in his shoulder. Don't shoot. And one arm is obviously higher than the other because this one's All right. Higher. Don't shoot. Hey, what Robert, happened? Arm. Robert, take Man Thing away before he says anything else. Take him, take him away. Man Fang begins to speak. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Drags him away. Uh, Good thinking. Uh, who wants to approach the tabaxi? Oh, I can approach him. I offered it. Take the arrow out. Sure. Or can let Man Fang do first aid. <laughs> tourniquet around the neck <laughs> I'll him, ask him ask him what how he got who shot him uh the turtle are you Wordle? are you with the turtle what turtles what, what's a what turtles i thought they were turtles were gone from here i thought they were hadn't been here in a hundred years this is tabaxi land but i i was i was i was out tending my crops minding my own business when turtle invaders under the flag of hatred and uh, uh, epitome, uh, attacked me ruthlessly, and they <laughs> slew my uh, my sister. Oh, uh, Leaf, give me a perception check. Uh, Nineteen, just off your right shoulder. Oh. Freaking idiot! <laughs> Which one of them is it? Doesn't matter. Phineas, Phineas is right there. He is understandably curious at how this is going to play out. So What's he's a, just off your right shoulder. So what, what, what kind of crops you grow in a jungle? Sugar cane crops. Huh. Interesting. Uh, okay. You want me to uh, take that arrow out of there? Is it going to hurt? Oh, it's going to hurt like hell. But if I don't, you're going to die. Tell you what, you can bite down on Phineas while I do it, if that'll help. Phineas takes a step back, gives you a sideways glance. Good, that's what I wanted. Uh, the tabaxi acquiesces. All right, uh, yes, that that would that would be very generous of you. All right, I, I'm gonna look as long as there's nothing that I'm really gonna screw up doing it. I'll break the fletch off and shove it through. Medicine check. Or do you want Man Fang to make this roll? No, I'll do this one. <laughs> I don't know, just roll for torture. Chip. That's a 21. Yeah, that is the best course of action. Snap the end and push it through. All right, that's what I'm doing. I'll put some healing on him. Do you uh, need that hand? The tabaxi's eyes just bug out in a significant amount of pain. Leaf, uh, <laughs> give, me a, give me a perception check. Uh, 23. He smells like something that you can't really put your finger on. Uh, but as he gasps in pain until you apply the healing, uh, he's in no position to speak. Uh, but the aroma, it's familiar. What's that smell? Probably me shitting my pants. <laughs> no, no, no. And, and, and you no. do catch a faint whiff of that as well. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that. I, I smell that. No, that's something else. That's a familiar odor. What the I hell know that smell? smell. What is that? Felix, Felix? you do know that Felix? smell. What's that smell? That. I smelled that before when we were in a city. What the hell was that? Is this guy still conscious or did he pass out from the pain? He did not pass out from the pain. He's he's pretty hurt, but now Leaf has applied healing. Yes. Okay. That smell is... Stop! A loud fart escapes Phineas, and he apologizes. Uh, <laughs> dang. Well, don't worry about the smell now. Yeah. You may uh, continue, Felix. <laughs> I'm gonna, Phineas, get the hell away from me. I'm going to whisper to Leaf. It's meowie wowie. I thought I so. I, well, I guess that, that makes sense. This would be a good place to grow that, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, the tabaxi rubs his shoulder and he goes, uh, "Meowie, Wowie is against the law, and that that is that is certainly not something that I would do." Well, you know what? That's fine, partner. Hey, we're not here to judge. Well, I appreciate judge. that, friend. Actually, we'll just say, you know, we well we understand it's against the law. I have friends though who have spoken about Meowie, Wowie. 
you wouldn't happen to know where we could get some Meowie Wowie, would you there, fella? I hear it has great medicinal value. I've been having these, these kind of like the shakes. I don't happen to have any of that Meowie Wowie on you, do you? Not a clue. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, you can see from his knees, eh, there's a strange substance there. Hmm. Yeah, if you want to go down and check his knees, help yourself. <laughs> <I'm right>. <laughs> <laughs> on this one. Uh, um, let the gnome do it. He's already halfway down there anyway. Halfway hell. Copious, walk up and look at the knees. No, thank you. <laughs> Real, Real. Sitting on the platform. <laughs> Spray time. <laughs> I marked the gnomes. So what time is it during the day? Uh, Are you feeling? Just woke up. You feeling better? I, I am. Thank you very much, my kind friend. I I do appreciate you, that. You want to? We're going to. We're heading uh, this way. If you want to go with us, I mean, it's well. I uh, what you've got in mind. I I, I think that uh, I think that's probably a good idea. Well, you I, keep I like looking it. over his shoulder. Oh, I'm just trying to stretch. Yeah, bullshit. Somebody chasing you? Yeah, there's a couple of turtle on my tail. Mm. They, uh, well, then raiders, I damn them. Raider. You know what? They probably have meowie wowie. They know how susceptible we tabaxi are. Maybe, uh, maybe when one of them was, uh, shooting me with an arrow, it was tipped with meowie wowie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Felix. Felix. Are bugged out. Smoke the end of that arrow and see how it is. <laughs> Okay. Well, then we probably better break camp and get moving, guys, if they're yeah. uh, on the way. Appreciate that. Hey, can I have some of them blue java? Hey, uh, knock yourself out, man. Phineas. Oh, these are mine. Phineas, <laughs> Phineas, Phineas, share the bananas. I will give him one. <laughs> uh, the taxi graciously takes it as he needs the potassium. Uh <laughs> And uh, he uh, joins your group, but he keeps looking behind him. All right. Well, we probably should pack up then and head up. He introduces himself as Tony Dakota. They call me the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do they call you the tiger, Tony? Hey, it's great. I'm tiger striped. <laughs> 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 all right well tony's oh, walking God. yes he is walking and he has Definitely. no problem with walking he is not a big fan of the zonkeys and even a lesser fan of the reptile all right and he he just constantly checks behind he goes oh we're we're I, I i'm sorry but you guys are strangers in this land where are you from and what brings you out here just exploring the jungle. Looking for some rare herbs for uh, medicinal purposes. Medicinal, yeah. A copious use persuasion, again, with that ring. It's oh, an advantage. Man. It's advantage? Yep. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's a real shame. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> nine. Yes. What is it? Nine? Nine. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, uh, I've met many a traveler wandering through the dense jungle looking for rare herbs. We see our friend Felix. Something's not right with him. So we're looking for a cure in the jungle. He looks okay to me. I'm not an expert on human, but... I'm totally fine. Trust me, everything is perfectly fine. Say he's I'm crazy. Totally insane. I'm the greatest there ever was. Crazy as a loon. Totally uh, insane. Uh, Tony will move back in the ranks away from Felix. <laughs> Where are you going? Just, All right. The reptile seems to be friendly. <laughs> and uh, the constant looking back because it doesn't trust the reptile nor does it trust the turtle he goes uh are are we headed to the coast we are uh probably i uh okay uh 
You guys got a boat? Uh, we, we, yes, we think we have a boat. It was there when we were right where we left it. Uh, Persuasion, Felix. Yeah. Oh, I thought right. he was going to. Felix, go. Felix, go. I've got this. Let me tell him. <laughs> I just told him it's right where we left it. Five? <laughs> Look at these damn dice. The black one's back. Die, I know I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna die. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can tell that he's starting to look around for an escape route. <laughs> he the trust level has shrunk substantially. Mm. Tony, what's the matter, friend? I'm gonna let my zonkey move back in the rank so it's like even with him and slightly behind. You're looking uh, a little peaked, Tony. Is it an uh, infection from the arrow? You know, I, I, I appreciate all of the kindness you guys have shown me, but I got to tell you, uh, my whiskers are wiggling here, and I'm thinking you aren't uh, telling me something. You aren't uh, with them turtles, are you? No, we are not with the turtles. Mm -hmm. Persuasion at disadvantage. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's great you know i i i kind of got a pee is there a spot around here i can pee at you can pee right where you're standing there tony i could oh he looks down uh you all look down this is a campsite is there anybody in the campsite nope smells uh you got a little scat around and tony's like that's turtle that has medicinal Tortle? purposes no Tortle. it does sure it does does well, what what like yeah, what 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 are they using it for uh profuse sweating hmm. oh do you orally or do you rub it on uh it's a suppository you can roll uh, inside if you want. <laughs> it's a fecal replacement. <laughs> Gotta get scared. Get scared. I rolled hey. a one. Hey, 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 you know what? This guy probably knows what he's talking about. I think he knows what he's talking about. He, he, looks, he should try that. Oh, wait, I forgot to add on my bonus. I got a three. <laughs> uh, if you guys can... Um, I'm gonna hop Felix, Let's drop. Just, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Just drop trowel and grab your ankles. <laughs> I'm not going to do that because I think I have a gem hidden in the prison wallet. So I'm oh, not going to do that in front of everybody. Listen, we'll what do you have two hidden in the prison wallet. <laughs> I think I have two of them hidden in the prison yeah. wallet. Listen, we'll gather some of this up. Let me, I'll wrap the, I'll gather Look some at the up size and, of those hemorrhoids. Yeah, <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll hang yeah. on to those bad boys and we'll try them later. If you guys will just give me two minutes, I'm going to just run behind the tree right here. Everybody Pierre just, sticks his head in. He goes, hey, if you need something jammed up your ass, I'll be more than happy to help you, my friend. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not saying. Hey, once again, I've heard that about gnomes. I am a real boy. I'm a man. I can do this on my own. I'm going to well, dunk my finger into the <laughs> shit. Take a <laughs> Turn around and say, nobody look at this. Nobody watch. And nobody want to watch. Phineas is watching. Phineas is watching. <laughs> I said, don't look. I'm going to stick the finger and right up in there. And My God, he did it. <laughs> is that Tony? Of course I did it. No, that's Phineas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good. I'm going to look at Tony and say, Tony, you better not be messing with him, dude. He'll kill you. <laughs> he is not making our food anymore, period. I don't even want him touching his boat. Well, you God's know what? Sake. I'm sorry, man, but he's the one that you made the deal with for the food, so he's got to make it. Oh, that's right. A loud fart escapes Phineas's butt yet again. Whew. I don't think those blue jobs are sitting very well. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Phineas, you don't learn, do you? No. <laughs> I'm going to pull my pants back up now that my <laughs> medicine is in place. Yes. And I'm going to say, well, I feel better already. You know, Felix, I'll, I'll go ahead and get some of this wrapped up here in some leaves, and we'll take it with us in case you have a relapse. I just want to know if the, if the, if the 
if the uh, game master has looked up those dysentery rules recently because <laughs> I'm feeling issues coming on. I'm thinking uh, Felix doesn't have to worry about overeating anymore. The tapeworm will go ahead and take care of business oh, for lovely. him. You're going to be Felix Weight Watchers consultant. <laughs> well, it's a very popular treatment in Hollywood. I'll be, mm-hmm. I'll be movie star skinny in just a few days. You drink enough of that beer that copious oh. makes, it'll clean all that shit out of you. That's, that's medicinal, too. Stroh's. It's Stroh's, isn't it? Your, your Stroh's. Hey, hey, hey. I grew up, I grew up drinking Stroh's. And you know exactly yeah, what I'm I talking about. <laughs> yes, sir. That and Falstaff. Oh, man, I'll tell you, I'd fart after drinking a bunch of that. Let a fart and the people will block away and start screaming and yelling. <laughs> And you'd probably go, ah, oh, that's probably fine. <laughs> so uh, now that you have horrified Phineas, who may never speak oh, to you again, God. congratulations. Oh, yeah. uh, did you guys want to make camp? The tabaxi says he's relieved himself, but everybody was focused in on Felix suppository. And and they get, the, and they get closer to that, close to dusk here or what? Oh no! Oh, you guys are like oh, high noon. Keep, keep oh, I'll keep going. I ain't making going. Yet. I'm trekking on. Keep going. Uh, the tabaxi starts to notice. You know, there's a lot of tortle prints here. Yeah, we know. We can see them. This must be where those raiders came up and attacked my uh, farm. Farm. Yeah, farm. Yeah. Uh, Your meowy farm. farm? Mm. Sugarcane farm. Yeah, so. that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Potato, potatoes. Uh, sugar. Do you have any sugar on you? Roll some up. You know what? I don't want to lie to you guys anymore. You've been too kind to me. You've taken my advice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, you, you've taken my advice. You've healed me. You're helping me out. I, you know what? I'm going to come clean. Uh, I am not Tony Dakota, sugarcane farmer. I'm, uh, I'm, I, I am known as the tiger in uh, civilized parts. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this because I say stage name is a stripper. We're kindred spirits. <laughs> uh, I, I think you guys are coming from the Nazumi ruins. And uh, I think you know that that is off limits. And I think you guys probably have figured out that maybe uh, neither one of us wants the law to find us. So I'm not a sugarcane farmer. I do dabble a little bit in the meowy wowie, and uh, I have a couple pouches available <laughs> that I am willing to share out of the goodness well, of There you go, Felix. Mark it up. I'm not going to hand it to him. No. <laughs> he just opened it up and he'll reach in and get a pinch. Yeah. I do not think that's going to work either. Yeah, a whole new experience the next time you try to use it. I think it gives a whole new experience to the term tainted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tainted? Uh, he was only supposed to rub that on his taint? Uh, oh. yeah. Hey, hey uh, Tony, Tiger. Just, I, I just want so you're saying you you may dabble in it when you say dabble you know how many metric tons do you dabble with here <laughs> are you a are you a small fish in a large pond or are you a tiger the big fish all the small fish answer to gentlemen my farm's so big, I use an elephant to move my product. Where you used to <laughs> Yeah, there was a small problem. It looks like my elephant got away, and I it, it looked like the dragon yeah. got it. Uh, we heard, oh no, we pot. heard the dragon tearing shit up here the other other night. That's why we took off. We dragon going crazy. So you were no, we were camping outside, outside the ruins. <laughs> we were outside to go in because of that dragon. Uh, Pierre goes, 
What do you mean? We were in the ruins for like weeks. <laughs> well, I was. Let's see if Man Fang agrees. Uh, nine minus three, six. Well, we weren't in there weeks. We were only in there a couple days. Well, apparently those two were in the ruins. Tony Dakota is like, so I see we have a uh, even Good keel experience. here, my friends. Yes. Good. All right. You know what? That is a good thing. We can work together. We are men of business, men of finance. Exactly, Tony. Uh, so can you assist me in getting back to town? I feel like, when does Joe Pesci show up? That's what I'm waiting on now. <clears throat> if I did a better Goodfellas, yes, he and De Niro would be here because his partner was uh, Jacob Montana. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm just going to come out and say, so assuming that someone did have some product, uh, you know, that uh, they wouldn't want the law to discover and they need to find buyers for said product. Is there a route that a businessman such as the tiger would be willing to uh, this, you know, share to allow that product to move to buyers? I don't know, but, but if, if I'm you know, saying, if, somebody were in the business of traveling to and fro there would be a back way however it's on the other side of the ruins now do you guys have a boat because a boat would make for a rather rapid departure and rapid we're hoping ride. to have a boat when we get to the shore I heard one. <laughs> nobody's paying attention the boat's right where we left it come on guys <laughs> so you guys are thinking boat. about stealing the turtles boat aren't you yes we are <sighs> are you guys mariners we sailed to the island i take a bath once a year i have a little bit of uh sailing experience i think in my backstory He's on a fishing ship. And Fang's role loudly announces that he is a seaman. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely <laughs> a seaman. Yeah, yeah, it may have been when what created him, but I don't know about it. Uh, Robert, however, points out that uh, he and Haggis paid a great deal of attention to the mariners that brought them over, and he feels confident in their abilities to pilot a craft. And, uh, Mr. Ma or Mr. Dakota asks, do you guys know how big a turtle ship is? No, I have no idea. Ah. <laughs> About an hour later, you start to smell the familiar uh, scent of the ocean uh, oh. from oddfishgames.com. Uh, the salty <laughs> uh, water uh. comes in and you realize you are not far from the coast at all. However, you appear to be a little bit high uh, in elevation. As you come to a drop-off, it is a rather steep incline down, uh, and it appears that erosion has taken place in the last day because there are no tracks to the left or to the right. The turtle tracks lead right to this erosion spot, and the drop is, <clears throat> shall we say, somewhat substantial uh, and has gone into the bay. A few yards off is a ship of unusual design. It looks like a giant wooden turtle shell. Does it have sails or oars? Neither from what you can tell. Oh, crap. <laughs> How the hell is this thing going to propel itself? Right, turtles. I'm going to say, power. here's our boat right where we left it. it. It's, it's like a Fred Flintstone. The turtles put their feet in the water underneath the ship. Oh, and yeah, paddle the damn thing. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, Tony Dakota goes. Yeah, so Tony, you know what guys. <laughs> I, You know, I've only been on one of those. And I was not, shall we say, a guest. 
Well, I guess that's uh, you. How do they propel those things, Tony? No sails. Um, you get in there and you kind Adam. of move <laughs> around. Can you can you guys see this? Because yeah. it didn't look like it was okay. Uh, so it's got spikes atop here. The water line is right here, so you cannot see the oars uh, and the sails are currently down. They are stowed beneath. Uh, instead of a dragon head, obviously there's a turtle head here. And so this isn't your boat, is no. it? No, uh, no, not so much. No, not at all. Absolutely not. We were planning on borrowing it. Okay, how do we want to do this? Uh, question is, how are we going to get the zonkeys down to the beach to get them to the boat? All right, I hear there's a path on the other side of the uh, Nizumi ruins. Well, I kind of think we're going to have to go that way, aren't we? <laughs> Only if we want to keep the zonkeys. Yeah, I'm keeping my zonkey. Everybody investigation. Natural 20. 17. 21. Uh, Robert got a 17. Haggis got an 18. And Man Fang got a 6. <laughs> uh, the natural 20 spies will say trail in name only. Uh, it is very windy, very curvy, and there are an extensive amount of trees in the way. But it looks as though some worm-like creature may have woven its way through the jungle and it appears to be creeping down at a rather rough angle but possible uh tony dakota says uh i can scout it out if you want if, if we look down on the beach we don't see any activity on the beach we don't see a boat on the beach nothing right from the landslide, you see just the tip of what probably was a rowboat now buried underneath the collapse of the mountain. Uh, but the boat itself, the main boat, isn't, isn't very far off. All right. So we got this landslide here. I can go down here. <laughs> uh, Phineas and Pierre point out that the uh, giant Gila monster can go down no problems and yep. doesn't even wait <laughs> they go down on the beach and yell up everything looks fine you know what go ahead and start a fire so the boat can see you <laughs> start a fire no, no. So they work and they start to gather wood. <laughs> the tabaxi is like, you didn't really want them to start a fire, do you? That seems like a really bad idea. Them not <laughs> doing anything is a bad idea. This will keep them occupied. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you want me to scout ahead on this trail? Yes. Oh, that's great. Yes. Uh, Tony Dakota begins to move down with cat-like reflexes, uh, one might say even dancing with the stars, as it were. As he gets halfway down, he goes shooting up into the trees as a net whoo, swoops him up. A few seconds go by. You hear, a little help. <laughs> Man Fang, catch him. Righto, sir. Man Fang, pet the kitty. Minus one. Uh, <laughs> he, he rushes headlong down the embankment. Uh, his decks will need three checks. Um, he skitters down the embankment without a problem, gets up. And tries to catch the swinging tabaxi. Five. Seven. 
That one, he decides, screw this. I've had enough. I'm going to cut him down. The tabaxi oh. begins to scream in horror. And he Hank Aaron's it, waiting for that thing to come by. Swing and a miss. Uh, the tabaxi begins to yell, tell him to stop, tell him to stop. Oh, he yelled down at me, bang two. it, tell him to stop it. And still misses, and he's like, do you want, what do you, I don't know what you want. Don't do anything. I'll get him down. The net. Felix, like, be like shooting down. <laughs> is, is finally slowing down. He's going to, he's our source for dumping the goods. If we end up back in the city, if we can't sell them to the turtles on the beach. All so, right. so can, can we reach the net from the ground? Yes, once you get down there, three dexterity checks, please. I assume you're bringing your mount down. And man fangs mount. 16, 15, Are we all heading down? Or yeah, I'm good. I, I'm standing on the bridge line for the moment. I'll go down. All right. Robert will go down. Robert escalates his pass down quickly and hits a tree. <laughs> and his pants look like Phineas's pants do right now. And I think because he didn't get on tonight, he should knock a tooth out. Uh, you know what? I like that idea, but I'm going to rule that he throws out his heels to try and slow himself and hits the tree. <laughs> oh, I knew what you meant. Oh, He man. suffers maximum damage. 10 hit points and passes out from the pain. Oh, oh, oh. I ain't rubbing liniment on that shit. Felix, no, I... give me a constitution save, please. Oh, do you need some more ointment, Felix? 17. 17? 17. I can do this. Alrighty. Hoggis <laughs> Crapstain says I'll go. You okay? <laughs> Walks past uh, Robert of Zeppelin, um, and he gets down with Leaf. So Manfang, Leaf, Haggis, their mounts, Robert's mounts. Robert's moving a little bit slowly and probably will not be able to ride today. Oh. <laughs> All right, right, I'm going down the hill. Three dex checks, right? Yep. Nope. Yes, for three. Mm -hmm. uh, fumbled. <laughs> Just stayed on the hill. You find your own tree to hit. <laughs> uh, you take eight, and you will not be riding anymore today. Right in the acorns. Yeah, you know, because he's a gnome. Acorns. Ah, you got me right in the acorns. <laughs> uh, right. How about perception check, you three? At this point, the only thing I see is stars. 19. 20. Dirty 20. Big black smoke coming from uh, the area around the uh, turtle ship. <laughs> Way to go there, Copious. Got the fire going. <laughs> it's a little wet. We'll get, we'll get down there and get, uh, get the cat cut loose. I think I still have to come down yeah, the let's hill. Go over there, Pam. Oh, Felix hadn't come down yet. That's why I was kind of hoping he'd be uh, sweating, but he's not. Oh, I fumbled though. I got a one. <laughs> hey, I know you your walnuts. Nine damage. You will not be riding today either. You got a lot of hunchbacks today. <laughs> Bunch of bow legged looking boys. There's no ice in the jungle, no frozen peas to be had. That ocean looks cold. It could be. You know what? It'd take the edge off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, me. I think, we, I think it's time. So, who's cutting down the tabaxi? I will. Don't fumble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? How son of uh, a string of tabaxi profanities echoes through the woods. 
as you cause him five damage. Sorry, hold still. He's dropping blood on you now. What I do? Uh, I, oh wait a minute! I'm under. I neutered him then. Yeah. Not quite. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Maybe this time. Uh, Sixteen. Uh, you cut open the net. He plops down, landing on his, all fours, as to be expected. <laughs> Uh, you, you cut his thigh there. He is not happy, but he says, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Why is there black smoke rising? I have no idea. Those two idiot gnomes went down there. You continue your way down the winding path, slipping as you do because Felix, Copius, and Robert are not moving well at all, but you finally reach a rocky coastline. You hang a left and go around a winding copse of trees that outhang into the ocean, and there you see the bonfire of the vanities that the two gnomes have created. I have built fire! It uh, is passed oh. away, uh, and the smoke is thick. Uh, give me perception checks as you look at the okay. ship in the bay. 20, 30, 10, 16 for Copius. Uh, Copius, you and Leaf get together and you decide, well, how do you get into that thing? Leaf's dirty 20. His assumption is if we can probably get to the middle part of the ship, there's probably a hatch of some kind. That damn rowboat had to come from somewhere. And if it's like every other boat on the planet, mm. uh, that is the information that you have. Uh, Tony Dakota is like, oh. Well, the first thing we got to do is dig out this rowboat. Sure. But we're not going to be able to get the zonkeys over. Yeah. That is true. Oh, boy. Uh there's your fire. Yeah. Hey, well done, man. guys. Well done. That's great. Why don't you look to see if there's something to eat along the beach here? Me he helped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they head off down the way that you guys uh, come by. So who wants to dig out the rowboat and pray to God it's intact enough? I'll work on it. Okay. I'm uh, watching the ship to see if something comes off the ship now that there's a giant bonfire on the beach. Felix, Copius, and Robert are in no position to fight very well at all. They will take observational posts. Uh, the Tabaxi, grateful that you didn't neuter him, as well as Haga's crap stain, will go ahead and assist you. Leaf, are you ready to D12 against me to see if your are yep. is intact? Come on, I don't do well with this one. Five. Four. Uh, although somewhat damaged, it appears to be seaworthy. However, it is rather small. You can probably only get one Gila monster and some people on it, or two zonkeys and a handler. Okay. So you will have to come up with a way to get there. And I think the first thing we need to do is somebody go over and investigate. A couple of us go over and investigate, make sure there's nobody on that boat. That's fair. Before we take the zonkeys over. Uh, who wants to go? I guess I can go. Me and Felix. Felix, what? try to walk, <laughs> walk out in that water about way steep, see if that helps. It'll wash out all the medicine that I just put in. Clinch. I can't right now, but I will go into the water and just sit down just, for a moment. Just splash some water up on there. Yeah, it's not gonna. It's not helping. I'm ready. <laughs> well, uh, you, you've never had this experience in real life, have you? Oh, I've had it in real life, but I've never <laughs> <laughs> haven't had it today. <laughs> yeah. Ice pack, I do wonders. Frozen oh. bees. All three of you going, or just two of you? Uh, I fear all three of us might as well. Might as well, all three of us. That's fair. Uh, you guys head on over there. Uh, what is the check I always use? Uh, give me nature check. 
or give me a performance check. Make sure you guys don't roll around in circles for a while. <laughs> 14. Uh, What's the modifier on performance? 13. Uh, wisdom? Wis wisdom? Uh, no, it's not wisdom. It's intelligence. I think it's intelligence. No, it's not intelligence. It's charisma, isn't it? I think it's yeah. charisma. It's charisma. All right. All right, then 15. Yeah, you guys know what the hell you're doing. Uh, you move out. Do you want to go to the forward part of the ship, you think? The middle part of the ship? Or we'll go to the middle. We're going to whatever's <laughs> facing point where it's closest to us, start there and work our way around the side of it, look for looking for a hatch. As you get up close enough to it, in the uh, water, you see extensions just below the water line, and you assume that these must be the oars, uh, which I guess would be very useful in combat because uh, a ship would be ramming anyway. They couldn't just collide and knock out your oars. Uh, it looks like the shingles of a house overlap it, and there are spikes in each section. So it looks like it is uh, pre, uh, what's the word, prefabricated uh, and very modular in nature. So who wants to try the first area? Uh, okay, I can, I guess. D12. Oh. 10. Lady Luck is on your side as you reach out and kind of flick it and you notice it appears to be a flap. Oh, go ahead and, and lift up on it. Lift up. Uh, give me a dex check to make sure you don't fall off since you're now standing on a rowboat. Uh, plus one, 14. Uh, you manage to grasp a hold of it. Uh, you peer in. You do not have dark vision, correct? Yes, I do. Oh, uh, you peer in, and it appears to be uh, steps going down in this location. Okay. Uh, next to you, to the right, are also stairs going down. So it looks like these two areas appear to be some kind of hatch. All right. You guys, there's a hatch or stairs going down on the inside of it. You want to go in and take a look around? Uh, why don't you pass either the Felix or... <clears throat> copious uh, pass them up into the the hatch to explore and then come back and report okay felix says okay <laughs> let's let's tie the the boat off to the ship while we're here thank you <laughs> uh you tie it off as you looking inside you see several rods in there clearly this must be how this works uh who's first one in uh, the copious can can go in first. There you go. Uh, give me a perception check to see if you hear anybody lurking. A sixteen. Uh, you hear nothing. Now you look around and you notice that there is a hinge assembly here. Uh, give me an insight check. Uh, Thirteen. <clears throat> it appears maybe. There's two linchpins here, one on either side. And there seems to be a uh, hinge, like a rabbit cut. And you think if you pull this linchpin and this linchpin over here, that will occur. Well, let's do it. Your insight check was high enough that maybe you should warn your associates because it's probably going to land on your boat. Duh. Trying to warn us? <laughs> I'm trying to think if he would. <laughs> Copius isn't known for his caution. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to warn him as I'm pulling the pins. Hey, watch this! <laughs> uh... Give me perception check, gentlemen. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> 17, 7, 24. 17. A loud shriek of metal on metal as he pulls pin number one is heard. You guys looking out notice that the area he is unleashing bends, uh, and then you hear 
a heavier screeching because there's a lot of pressure on it. Uh, and give me an insight check to see if you realize you're about to be smacked in the face. Uh, 15. Felix? 17. Uh, you both reach up at the same time as he pulls the pin and the heavy wooden lumber cracks into your hand, tipping the boat a little bit. But since you've tied it off and you're caught between a rock and a hard place, you do manage to slow the descent. Uh, easing it down, uh, Copious, you see their angry scowls appear. And it comes <laughs> down to just above the rowboat's line. So in essence, it creates a stair oh, step. Uh, Copious, what do you want to do inside the boat? Uh, Run and hide. Run and hide? Why? I just opened the door for you guys and give you stairs to come up. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> I'm going to move. So that's one flight of stairs. You said there were two? Felix, you need to give, <laughs> well, him, some, next give, each give him some tone. So, so it, it opens up to a wider gangplank. Why, well, that's why I, so that's the second one. And then what do I see in the rest of the area then? Uh, you see a short a hallway, a short chute down into a hallway that extends into a T intersection. All right. So I'm going to um, hold hug the wall, move down to the T intersection, look, look both ways for perception, and then move and, and down one of those legs. Uh, as you look down the T section, you notice right above the T section appears to be a recessed area uh, that looks like you could actually drag the boat in and kind of stuff it up underneath the uh, domed roof of the building. Uh, so it looks like the boat goes with you. Uh, down each hall, left and right, you see several, for lack of a better term, galley doors. Uh, probably where stuff or sailors live or reside. I'm just uh, going to walk the length of the hall listening to see if I hear any other, basically anything alive on the ship. Sure. Uh, going left, give me three checks. Uh, perception? Yeah, we'll do perception. Okay, uh, 8, 16, 19. Uh, no, nothing's going on in those rooms. All right, and then I'm going to head back the other way. There are four. Four checks? Yep. Let's double these up. Uh, 19 and 10. And then uh, 18 and 17. On the far, on as you go to the right... Uh, it curves around and kind of extends the hallway a little bit. The four doors uh, reveal no noise whatsoever. And is my sense that the hallway is sort of in the middle of the boat? No, you do not sense that at all. Okay. So I feel like I'm on one side or the other? Correct. You appear as the, you believe you're on one third of the ship. All right. I'm going to go back and report to the, the uh, guys in the boat that I've gone down both hallways. There's doors on both sides, but I don't hear anything moving around <clears throat> on board ship. You guys want to come aboard? Come aboard. We've been waiting for you. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come aboard, but if it's dark in there, I'm not going to be able to see anything. So It's dark in there. I'll stay near the light, but I will step aboard the main ship. Okay. What about you, you want to go up top? If it's light, yeah, I'm going to stay where it's light. As you go up top, you're mindful of the spikes, uh, which uh, from the outside, you notice they appear to be one. On top of it, you notice it is rather prickly, uh, which would prevent boarding. But if you go ahead and take your time, you can kind of step in between. Up on the two masts, uh, you notice there is a recessed area, Indeed, canvas sails are in the recessed area. You also see on the far side of both masts the rigging that will allow you to raise and lower the sails. Perfect. I'm going to go back down and uh, relay the information that I just learned. Let him know that it looks like we have everything. Hey! <laughs> As he leans over the side with a spike right on his throat, he goes ahead and relays the information to you. <laughs> Let's see if I can hit Felix with a coconut. 
A coconut rebounds off the corner of the opening and bounces down the stairs towards Leaf and Copious. Uh, Felix, you look over. We found coconuts! And they fling another one at you. <laughs> uh, this one's going to connect with a dirty 20. <laughs> I will say uh, Leaf is 1, 2, Copious 3, 4, and Felix 5, 6. Felix, you definitely should not have looked up at that time as the coconut <laughs> rebounds Jesus on your forehead for five hit points of damage. <laughs> now you've got swollen nuts and a swelling on your noggin to boot. I'm going to let out a string of profanity, shake my fist, and say just a bunch of profanity. It's the gnomes, right? The gnomes are throwing coconuts at us. It's the gnomes. Uh, well, I'm going to kind of mutter to myself, as soon as we get on this open ocean, that there's going to be two less gnomes in this party. Man Fang <laughs> has taken an interest in this. Oh, no. <laughs> but with a nine, realizes mm, he looks mad. I'll go ahead. <laughs> uh, Robert and Haggis go over, smack the coconuts out of their hands, and you can see them getting verbally chastised. Uh, Man Fang goes over and tries to put out the fire, but of course he's fanning the flames and making billows of black smoke appear. So uh, I'm gonna look at copiously. You know we gotta do something about this. Let's go get the zonkeys and get the hell out of here. All right, let's get it done. Okay, so can we drop the other plank, uh, gangplank? Sure. Now is the gangplank resting on the boat or just rest down? Right. It's about a foot up off the boat, so it'll okay. be a stair step design. Is there is there another one of these little rowboats on this ship? There is not on this okay. side. We'll look on the other side. Really? Who's going to wander through the halls of the ship? I mean, well, it's dark. I can see in the dark. Uh, so, Copius, I assume that you're going to go ahead and try and figure out how to get the uh, payload aboard. And Leaf is going to wander off by himself. Is that well, how I'm hearing things? Actually, I'm going to ask. I'm going. Copius is going to confer with Felix on this one because Felix can't see down below deck, anyways. Correct. So if he, if he wants to take the rowboat back to shore, I'll go with uh, Leaf since Copius can see in the dark as well to and, finish exploring the ship and see if there's place for the zonkeys to actually be stored. And Felix, yeah. you start moving them over. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll do that. He said, cupping his swollen nuts. <laughs> and the noggin injury. Of course I'll do that! Don't worry, guys! <laughs> I gotta feel great! I, I really ought to make you do a constitution saving throw, but I will save you that for right now. Uh, fair enough, Copious and Leaf, uh, you creep inch by inch, step by step, uh, down the right, curving around to what you presume to be the tail end of the ship. Uh, again, uh, there are doors on the left, but not on the right. Uh, a, a close listening will hear water lapping at the wood on the right, indicating to you uh, Pythagorean theorem, going ahead and doing the apex angle of the dangle. Uh, this is the back of the ship, and that's why there's no doors here. Uh, also, give me an investigation check to see if you guys we, notice something. Cracking open doors, too, or not? You can crack open doors if you want. Sometimes just listen to them. You notice that it is a ship designed uh, by modular design and that you can probably lift the ceiling portion, which would remove because there are latches on them. Uh, with the 17 intelligence, you believe that what they do is uh, the spikes will prevent anybody from getting aboard the ship. However, if raiders do attempt to do so, the Torto can remove the latches, push open the spot, and attack from below. All right. Uh, there are two doors on this end leading to the interior of I'm the ship. open the door and look. Bunks, swinging hammocks. I don't notice anything in the hammocks. 
Uh, no participants. Right. I'll check the other door then. It opens with a loud screech and also leads into a yeah. bunkhouse. Any stores? Are we finding any stores uh, for the that they had for the trip? Haven't really opened any doors, have we? Other These are the only two doors that you've opened. You have listened to a lot, but you have not found any stores at this time. Uh, however, you guys hear a clomping. Clomping. Like booted feet or booted feet. clawed, webbed feet. Can we tell what direction? Coming. Yeah, it's coming from in front of you around the corner. Uh, and it is narrow confines here, even by tortle standards. Uh, because one of you is a gnome, you can stand two in the hallway because the tortle shells are rather immense. Uh, but something's coming this way. Something wicked this way comes. Copious. I think we've got company. You think so? Yeah. Felix is on board. <laughs> All of a sudden, Copious sounds like Mickey Mouse when he talks now. Oh, no, boys and girls. There's Tortle aboard. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-huh. Okay. Did you see Felix can't hit the nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Put uh, his head in the fridge uh, right next to Waltz. <laughs> All right, just, somebody's coming. Yeah, I'm just going to get ready for it. Yeah, I'm I'm summoning my pack weapon and uh, casting shadow armor. A uh, beaked creature resembling a large turtle rounds the corner. Uh, it has a weird symbol etched into its soft breastplate and holds a cutlass, and it demands to know. What are you doing here? Why, well, we're just checking out this abandoned ship. Odd even. Odd leaf. Give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, I'd love to. So my wisdom's 20. So what would I need to have a wisdom saving throw? I think you get plus five. I get plus five. I rolled a 16. Oh, uh, you are not held then. Uh, you feel that a spell was cast, and that is why Copius was blasted through the hull. You know what? That was the Disney Empire heard me making fun of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> 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 Comcast, shut that son of a bitch down. <laughs> uh, so the Tortle Druid appears to have attempted to attack you with a hold person spell, which you know quite well. I'm going to uh, go ahead and attack the Tortle. Everybody initiative. 16. Six. Five. Oh, you're busy. <laughs> you're, you're you're a ferryman. You're 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 out. You're rowing the boat. Bud. At some point, I'm going to be coming back with other people. That's true. Leaf, you're up. Uh, ninety-one plus three. What Twenty-two. Yep, that is. I love those murder hobo ink dice. Seven. Uh, odd even. Odd, he don't like uh, his namesake. He's going after the druid. Uh, and he will use the quarterstaff on Copious. So on the druid with claws. 18 plus four on Copious. Two plus four. Uh, Copious, the quarterstaff, misses you as it hits a rafter above you, but claws rake across leaf for 1d4 plus two. Six points of slashing damage across yon chest. Uh, that brings us to Copious in round one. 21 to hit. Easy. Easy peasy. All right. I like that. Seven points. 
Top of the order in round two, Leaf. Okay, that's a die, that's a die 12. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. Oops. I, I don't mind you rolling that. I do. Uh, 18 plus two, three is 21. Felix, give me three performance rolls, please. Seven. Oh, you guys like the seven rolls. Oh, uh, I love them. Odd even for the first attack. Uh, he's going to slash Leaf again and uh, whack Copious. So on Leaf, 12 plus 4 is only 16. That hits. And Copious, uh, 9 plus 4 is only 13. Miss. Leaf sustains another slash. Ooh, another slash damage is six. He's carving you up with Zorro times three. Uh, Felix, how are those performance rolls? 18, 7, and 11. So when you're bringing everybody over, how did you want to do it? You can bring one Gila monster and one other person over. With the Zonkeys, you can do a Zonkey and two other people but then the math doesn't look right. Say it. All right. So now, now you could bring over, let's say Felix, or I'm sorry, Manfang and Robert and a zonkey mm -hmm. and then leave Manfang or Robert here with the zonkeys and then go back with Manfang, pick up another person so two people in the rowboat at all times. To calm the beast. Yeah, I I guess I'll do that. Okay. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Uh, is, well, what, let what, me think about that, actually. So I can put two people in the rowboat and one person, a uh, zonkey counts as a person, correct? No, two people and a zonkey and you. Okay, two people and a zonkey and me. Yep. So you're going to have to ask yourself, do I put a lot of people on the ship first and then ferry the zonkeys over more, or do I bring the zonkeys over first and bring people? Because here's the thing. Until you start bringing extra people, these two are fighting the turtle on their own. Right. Bring the cat. <laughs> yeah. I, actually, I probably will bring the cat because he's the only person that's ever been on a ship like this before. So, yeah, we'll bring Tony and I guess we'll bring Robert and a zonkey. So who do you want to leave behind, one or both of them, on the ship? Both of them. Okay. So, zonkey, right? Because I'm more trying to get everybody on yeah, both of them and a zonkey are now aboard ship. Yes. You now I'm going to row back to get ne the next set of people. Fair enough. Who do you want to stay with the zonkey, the tabaxi, or Robert? Or do you want them both to stay and find a place to stow these? Or do you want one of them to go see what the hell Leaf and uh, Copious are doing? Uh, Robert guess. will point out he's human. He don't see so hot. Yeah, I guess half oh, he's a half orc. I'm sorry. Yeah, either either one can go. Have uh, have the cat go see what's going on. He seems kind of cunning. Uh, who did you want to bring over second? Ugh, I guess we better bring over that those gnomes. I don't trust them on shore alone. Uh, the gnomes tell you that uh, the Gila monster can make it over on their own. No, thank you. Well. Time to board, fellas. Uh, uh, who else is left in the party? Man Fang and a shitload of zonkeys. I guess I'll take Man... Oh, damn it. Your second trip, somebody's ending in the drink. Lovely. It's going to be Man Fang and a zonkey. There you go. Uh, so, give me one more performance roll without botching it, and you can get all the creatures and all the people over. 19. Fair enough. You did an excellent job in ferrying them over. Meanwhile, back to Leaf and Copious. Copious, I believe uh, it is my turn. I thought you just took a shot at both of yeah. them. Oh, yeah, I you did. did. You, are, you are correct. Copious, Copious, you are up to end round two. 
22. Yep. Protect. 10. Ouch. Top of round three, Leaf. Okay. You know, it really sucks because my main offensive weapons are fire. I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing a problem. Got a lot of I, water. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm seeing a problem in the middle of the ship. Uh, and three seventeen. It's. Uh, I only rolled a five that time. Six. So six damage, not enough. Damn it! Claws are going odd with a nine. Uh, that means Copius is getting the stick. Uh, on leaf. Ooh, Fumbalaya! You would advantage next round. Uh, but connects with a stunning 19 as he falls to the ground, uh, looking out one of Copius's eyeballs, I'm guessing. Oh. Nope. Seven damage, though, uh, as wow. he spears you through the gut. You're up, Copius, at the end of round three. The total is not looking good. 24 or yep. 22 to hit and nine damage. Ouch. Yeah, he's really not looking good. Uh, round four, Leaf, finish him. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Uh, 22. Yep, he's going down. You said I had advantage? Oh, yep. Damn good thing. Uh, four and one is five. Because he fell to the ground attempting to slash you earlier, uh, he was on his knees as you brought your blade and lopped off his head. Uh, his innards spill out among the deck just as the tabaxi arrives and go, Jesus Christe, what are you guys doing down here? Turtle soup. Turtle, Turtle soup. soup. <laughs> Does smell kind of good. Does smell kind of good. Uh, have you checked the rest of the ship? Right, yeah. We were working on it when we ran into him. Well, the big guy is uh, loading up the horses, although I did hear a splash, so I don't know what the hell happened. Being a druid and killing a druid, I'm going to pat this sucker down before I move on. Uh, he yep. actually only has some gems. Nothing of. Pull. Yeah. He really wanted to do Thunder Wave. <laughs> um, I thought about it. <laughs> I, I could see it blowing the top off the ship. Had, had I gotten the whole person off, I would have had you, but uh, okay, so uh, you have 75 gold pieces and gems. You guys will continue to search the ship. I will get you a map for next time. Uh, okay. You will find no other living creatures here. You will find the galley storerooms, the captain's uh, chamber, which will have some stuff in it, and a what could pass for a bridge at the front of the ship. Uh, All right. You also find different stations for oars. Uh, and there are no slaves, so everybody pulls their own weight. Felix, uh, using uh, mastery of uh, travel tactics, has gotten everything aboard, including the two gnomes and their Gila monster. They have been stored in the ore shafts for now, uh, as Robert has had a little bit of trouble trying to figure out where to put things. Uh, he has not found the uh, bunk rooms, which would be a perfect location for your animals. Uh, we'll go ahead and call it today as you guys have been quite successful and have now figured out a way to maybe safely leave uh, the, <laughs> the jungle of play drill. Uh, yeah. What do you think Felix so far? Um, glad to be out of the ruins, but that I am very curious about those sweats that were happening to me earlier. And I'm hoping <laughs> that the, Sure, they're nothing. The finger took care of everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know what? I'm sure everything was fine. I'm sure it is too. Uh, so I'm having a good time. 
Copious, what you think? Uh, that's Captain Copious. I'm getting a Captain oh, Cat. Oh, 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 uh, oh, oh, oh. Be a brand of beer with Copious with a big old tricorn hat and, uh, you know, yeah, stand up with one, foot up. one foot on a barrel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. Cap Captain Copious is rum. That's Frankie <laughs> is not going to be happy that he missed no, the no, opportunity he's at all. <laughs> well, I'll let him know this week, too. Oh, I'm, I'm sure there will be staunch wording uh, going on. <laughs> uh, Leaf, what'd you think? Uh, I had a ball. That was that was fun. It it's, uh, made me realize that my vulnerabilities when I'm in situations like that where I can't light up the fireball, can't light up the flame blade, I need to get a Something that does more damage. Three quarters sure. are kind of the bane of spellcasters. They certainly are. But I'm glad you guys had fun. Uh, the sun is just really pouring in on me now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought about casting that heat metal because that, that does some serious damage. Problem is, if I do heat up his sword and he drops a damn thing, they can still start firing on deck. Yeah, or you misfire and heat up all those spikes. In the yeah, canopy. which I'm sure you would immediately think of, like you just now did. So there's a lot of a lot of things to think about. There you go, folks. Uh, it, there's it's always fun in Phil Bar. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to join us in Discord, it's down there. If you want to buy our crap, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us for a one shot or a talk show, uh, hit us up at M Hobo Inc. at Twitter. How's that? at Twitter or Gmail, <laughs> and we will get you on a show. Thanks for uh, Pirate Dog Dice uh, for making dice that really hurt. And, of course, oddfishgames.com. When your game stinks, get a little adventure sense in it. Don't forget, we'll post the uh, RPG with your cat link on our Twitter feed. Uh, for everybody here at Murder Hobo Inc., we hope you have a great rest of the weekend, and we will see you on Tuesday for the talk show. Producer, are you ready to take us home? Everybody go wave, come on. Oh, come on. Oh.